Uh, so we have a couple last subjects to bring up here. Uh, we're going to do this kind of quickly because we've already been talking about it a little bit. Uh, but let's talk about alliance uh, predictions and matchups. Uh, we'll start with PJ. Kind of do a backwards around the horn here. Uh, PJ, <laughs> give us uh, who you think uh, is going to be the ultimate alliance matchup going into the elims. Who's going to take it all? All right. Uh, <laughs> it's so hard <laughs> to say at IRI. I, um, I think my my combination of the first two seed alliance is going to be some combination of these four. I'll give you that. It's going to be 2056, 195, 118, and 5406. Those will be the first and second robots in some combination on the first two alliances. Um, depending on how they pair up, it will then depend on who I think would and who they get in the third round because it can be really weird. Like they, like, like we were saying, they could end up like you could end up with 20, you know, 2056 and 195 getting 133 as a third robot, getting 319 as a third robot. Like it's crazy. And then, um, my other alliance prediction that I'm going to go on record as saying is there are six pure uh, switch robots at IRI, and I don't think any of them will make eliminations. So there's that statement. Fair enough. You heard it first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, IRI is so hard to predict what's going to happen. I agree with PJ completely. Um, for my predictions, 2056, we'll see first. There's no question in my mind about that. Um, but it's really going to be a matter of who seeds second and what alliances they can prevent by picking that or something like that. So um, 2056 first, 195 second, 118. Uh, that's your top three. And as PJ said, it's going to be some combination of that top four. But as a low seed alliance, um, I've kind of been thinking about who can take down what combination of three could possibly um, – go up against those top tier alliances. And I want to say six, seven, eight, somewhere in there, 319, 340, 2337, something like that could possibly get to finals and take down two seeds, three seeds. All right, Christine, give us your uh, selections for alliances. I think besides the obvious that everybody has said and thought of already that, you know, there's going to be some ridiculous combination with that number one seed, um, like, it's obvious that it's going to happen. But I do think that, you know, whoever gets left behind and doesn't get picked by the number one seed is going to develop a really strong alliance. Um, and that could be later on down the road, too. Like, 1619 is a really consistent robot as well. And I think that if they pair up with somebody like 319, 118, you know, or Jersey Voltage, like, there's a really good chance that they could take down the number one alliance. We've seen some crazy stuff happen at IRI year after year, and... I think that this year, especially with the rule changes and there not being so much inconsistency with stupid penalties, that it leaves the door wide open for, for some really great upsets. And I think we saw a lot of upsets at Detroit Championships, too. So, I don't know. I, I think that, court, like, I don't know. I think it's going to be crazy either way. Um, I think it's going to be an obvious like number one alliance it's going to be some combination of 195 or 2056 and or both plus whoever else so but i think that there is a a strong chance that there could be an incredible upset i, Garrison, yeah, how are you I feeling? yeah i agree with that um so i think my prediction first of all is i don't think the number one seed is going to win um Whatever it is, whether it's 2056 and 195 even, I don't think the one, number one seed is going to win. Uh, I don't really have any good data to back that up. Or anything. <laughs> it's just a good um, feeling. But I, have, I, have the I feeling largely do everything based on feelings. So. Yeah, as, as deep as the field is this year, and for, I feel like it's actually deeper than the IRI field has been in the past. Um, yeah. And so I don't I, – I think it's, the one seed is actually going to have a really tough time winning and another reason i say that is there's only three ifi teams here and so they can't <laughs> make an all ifi alliance um with op thunder chickens and the bees but uh i'd like to see them three pair up and yeah, the bees could very well fall to uh the third pick i don't i don't think it, there's actually uh the way that they've been playing you know it's been a little more inconsistent i think that could quite possibly happen garrison Oh, absolutely. I could see so I could see that alliance happening with 195 still as the first pick. Like 2056, 195, the Thunder Chickens going in the as the second pick of the first alliance. 
and then the bees being like the last pick of the draft. I could see that happening, which is pretty scary. I can see that. The bees have also made some improvements for IRI though, which like they've switched up their gather. Their gather is now the 254, 1323 style. And supposedly um, Nick Cousins was telling me they've got a three cube working, which could change how 33 works at IRI. Just something to think about, but. Who knows? It's IRI. See if it works on the field, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe anything Nick says. <laughs> It'll work in the mentor match, and then it won't work in any other match. There you go, right? Yeah, <laughs> Nick will be like, see, I told you it worked. So. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wrap up here. here. Here's my predictions. I, I do think 2056 and 195 are going to get together. Uh, I definitely see that. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot about their uh, second and third picks that they have, so third and fourth robots. Here's three teams that I think are, are similar in skill, that could end up as a third uh, pick on that. They all played actually in the Curie division together, uh, and uh, one uh, took it, and the other two were finalists. A uh, combination of either 3707, Brighton Techno Dogs, 35 uh, 3538 mm -hmm. Robo Jackets, or 1747 Harrison Boiler Robotics. All three of those teams could fall under that dark horse area that people just don't know them particularly well. I mean, 195, we talked about them how much? Yeah, 3707 was the alliance captain. Uh, of that alliance, right? Yeah. So they're definitely a team that is not as well known for something like that. I see one of those three teams falling to a third pick, and then I, I'm going to still keep on my Secret City Wildbots train. I think they'll actually get picked up as a as a fourth pick uh, on the way back, as people don't know about them as well. So uh, that that's my selections so of 2056, 195. Uh, one of the uh, three teams from the finalists, or uh, one of the finalists or winner alliances from uh, Kiri, and then Secret City Wildbots on the way back.